Aloha Aina, and welcome to Voices of Truth, one-on-one -on -one with Hawaii's Future, brought to you by the Kiwani Foundation. I'm Ehuke Kahu Cardwell, and we're here today with Manu Meyer. Manu, aloha. Mm -hmm. So great to have you on the show. This is a special version for the Free Hawaii Television Broadcasting Network. And Manu, we're talking about the importance of people taking action these days because time is kind of running out. Absolutely. It's important for people to find their peace, Absolutely. what's important to them, what they're passionate about, mm -hmm. and work with it, make Hawaii in the world a better place, yes? Absolutely. Uh, indigenous people from all around the world are speaking out on this very principle and that is intentionality changes the world. We must have clear intentions and a collective will that we can transform our materialistic, greedy, selfish, environmentally rapist society that we are, are in. But it does start with the thought patterns. We must begin to develop different thoughts so that yes, do what you can do and if it's eat better, Communicate better with your sister or brother or mother or father or auntie. Take care of your malama, your home. It's the point nowadays is to intentionalize and then act on an idea. But you've got to have some good ideas. What's yours? Yeah, very good. So somebody sitting here watching this right now, they may say, well, that sounds great, but it sounds like it's not going to work for me. Make it easier for me. You can't. Okay, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't make it easy. Things are quality. You have no fear of time. Got to decide what's the decision. We have a concept of hope. You've got to no hold the idea inside of you. It is not easy. And, and it could be one idea of Malama this land so I can plant some food. It could be one idea of, of get to know my brother better so I can communicate something. It could be one idea to love yourself in a way that loves others. Just pick one idea, one, only one, and then start from there. It's not easy. It's not easy. Nothing of quality should be easy. But it's it's worth it. It's, a, it's, it's, it's very well worth it, isn't it? Absolutely. Now, you recently went down to a place called Aotearoa, which means land of the long white cloud. New Zealand. New Zealand. Yes. And you spent a year with the indigenous people down there, the Maori. Yes. And they taught you many things. Absolutely. And we don't have time to go into all of those things, but share with us a couple of things. Like one of the things you're talking about is how they actually would vision things mm -hmm and then that visioning made, made it real and they accomplished it. Absolutely, and that's the intention idea, Ehu. The idea that people got together and intentionalized their ideas. They, they spoke with each other, they ritualized it, they summarized it, but mostly they meant it. What is it that you want to do in your community or in your family? You've got to have an idea. Discuss with people what it is. It's very difficult. We are taught not to communicate in our homes. We're taught not to. So if you're a young person or if you are a teenager that's troubled because the, you, know, you can't communicate, find people that will teach you. Find areas and friends and acquaintances. It could be an uncle down the street. It could be a 7-Eleven um, vendor. Develop relationships with people. That's what I learned. That the hea hatamea nui o te What is the most important thing in the world? He tangata, he tangata, he tangata. It is people, it is people, it is people. That's beautiful. So that brings me to something you were sharing with me before, which is the thing that you said about yes. Share that with us, would you? Absolutely. Um, Kumuhula Olana Kaipo Ai said the following Aloha is the intelligence with which we meet life. Aloha is the intelligence with which we meet life. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. That means Aloha is the point. Yeah. Aloha is the context. Aloha is the practice. Aloha is the starting point, it's the ending point, it's the middle, and it's the outside the container. On a good day. <laughs> On a good day. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's everything. So that's that's another way to say that is, is if we have aloha, then we have everything we need. Yep. And all the answers, yep. they're just simply within us. Absolutely. And all we have to do is look and listen. It is, it's completely that. We're not taught to be still and to meditate and to be contemplative, we're not. We must regain our sense of self. Not an egotistical self, but in a cultural, beautiful, liberating, joyful self. And that is only through love. And loving of who you are, and loving of your mistakes, loving period, so that we can express what love is to others. Great. You know, Manu, some of our viewers watching right now may say, well, that sounds great. I'd love more of that, but you know, where I go to school, where I live, 
I really don't get much of it. Yeah. And I want more of it. Yeah. What would you say to that? You got to give it. Don't worry about getting it. Give it. Because um, you, it's, this is what indigeneity and indigenous people have to offer the world. We, our, our sense of wealth is in the giving. It's not in the receive. It's not in the accumulation. To give is the wealth. Vai vai is our word for wealth. It means to flow. It means water water. It means to give. People think it is. It means to accrue. No, it means to give. And so love is an energy. It's not about love. It's about loving. Mm. It's about giving that love. Wow. And it's an energy. It's wow. an energy. It's complete energy. Wow. So, Mano, what drives you? What's the most important thing in your life? And loving myself through that opportunity of lessons, and and, um, and I, I do things terrible on occasion. Oh, and so love makes sense to me. That's great. You know, I'd be hard pressed to find to catch you doing something terrible. Every time I've seen you do something, it's great. I've always been. Uh -huh. You know, another thing you mentioned uh, was about the power of speaking versus writing. Yes. And I think this is really important for our viewers, especially our young viewers, mm -hmm. to know that the power of oratory, the power of knowing how to speak, to say something, yep. is so important these days. Say a little bit about that. What we're discovering now, what we've known all along, particularly in post-quantum physics, is that the voice is connected to consciousness, consciousness is a truth-centering agency, and when we express that in the world, the world changes. There is, a, and there is a truth and then there's a vibration, there's a frequency when you orate truth. And as the same as with someone orates with you, you are changed by listening, by hearing. We have two different words for hearing and listening to Hawaiians. Ho'olono is the deeper, it means to hear, not simply to listen, ho'olohe. Ho'olono means to hear. So when we hear the words and when, if we're transformed, then we're inspired, then things change because we're inspired. So we have a relationship with that energy and that's what oration is. It's the capacity to be affected, to be changed, to be inspired. And when and inspiring people do inspiring things. You got you gotta be inspired and love the life you have. Yeah. Inspiring people to inspire things. What a great thing to say. What, 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 how true that is. And you know people can inspire others just right where they where they are now. Absolutely. Grassroots. It always starts at the bottom and goes up. Absolutely. Yeah, good. So somebody who sitting there watching us right now may say, Wow, I'm inspired by what she's saying. But they don't know what small things I can do. What small steps might they take to start this process? Find a good book to read. Find good people to surround yourself with. And, I, and when I mean good, I don't mean good like good. I mean inspiring, truthful, at the edge of your joy all the time. Your lessons according to joy, to truth, and to aloha, and your world will change, but it takes a discipline, and, and I mean it. Things of quality have no fear of time. Oh, that's great. Manu, what do you see as the future of Hawaii? How would you like Hawaii to look and feel in the future? I'd like us to, um, to love one another better, and that when we do that, the land will be our teacher again. We'll have Kalo thriving. We'll have um, our neighbors will know, and we'll take care of them again. I, I see a better community and a better um, lifestyle here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful. Especially when oil is depleted. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be any long Any minute now. now, any minute now. <laughs> Get ready. That's great. That's great. So you heard it right here from Manu Meyer. 2006. Manu, your mana'o, your mana is powerful. You're a phenomenal human being and every time I'm with you, I move. Thank you very much for being here. This has been Voices of Truth, one on one with Hawaii's future, brought to you by the Kwani Foundation. I'm Ehuke Kahu Cardwell. You've been watching us on the free Hawaii Television Broadcasting Network. And until next time, ahui ho!